I'm John Ritter, uh, one of the four co-founders and director of operations at Lightweight Games. The company that created Dragoon, which you can definitely find on Kickstarter. I'll put the link in the description and subscribe below before we get started. Dragoon is a uh, two to four player game where you play as a dragon. Uh, and the unique thing about it is that it really finds a nice balance between uh, some beautiful art, some very universal gameplay that people can kind of grasp onto, and then some really nice components with uh, fabric and metal pieces that a lot of companies just don't do. The game comes with uh, over 50 metal pieces, some of which are finished in real gold, uh, silver, copper, and black nickel. They're solid zinc, uh, so it, it weighs a ton, uh, and it also comes with a nice fabric board and a fabric bag for traveling. So a lot of companies kind of default to either paper or plastic, which we didn't really want to do. We wanted to focus on something uh, of higher quality. So we, basically the way we looked at it is we were releasing our special edition first. And now with this recent Kickstarter, we've introduced the plastic version. Uh, it still has a fabric board, but it's a, it has a lower price point so people can actually uh, get More people it. can afford it. Exactly. How did you guys come up with Dragon? Because it's a really funny concept of game. Yeah, so it, it started with uh, one of the co-founders, Jake Given, who wanted to do wanted to be a dragon. And he started kind of playing off of that idea. He then brought in his brother, Zach, to refine the concepts, uh, to kind of pare everything down and make it a little bit more of a, an actual playable thing. And then they got to the point where it was near probably 75 to 85% gameplay done, uh, but they, they didn't know how to make it. So I've known them since I was a kid, since I was about one. And they said, John, do you know how to do random stuff? Can you make this happen? <laughs> uh, Pretty solid uh, skill set. Yeah. So I said, sure, I'll, I'll figure it out. Um, and uh, my family has some background in metal production. Uh, and we figured out a way that we could, if we sold 200 copies, kind of piece everything together by hand. Uh, then we brought in Nick as the artist. And he came up with this art style that was incredibly imaginative. Um, and not like a normal tabletop uh, mm -hmm. art style. So combining that with my ability to do random stuff and Zach and Jake's <laughs> Magic. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> and Zach, Zach and Jake's ability to create the actual gameplay, uh, we then kind of set forth with this idea of creating 200 copies. And then when we sold over a thousand on Kickstarter, we realized, well, we gotta find a, a different way to do this. Your whole mission in the beginning was to combine art and kind of quality material with gaming, mm -hmm. but you also mentioned that you've had some challenges doing that. Yeah. What do you think you've learned in the whole process of Dragoon? Yeah. Um, there's a lot of things we've learned. Doing something on your own is very difficult and time consuming. We were originally packing games ourselves uh, in a storage unit, which we are actually in right now. <laughs> uh, we packed games for hours on end, thousands of pieces, uh, over 350,000 pieces uh, by hand hand-checked everything, it took a lot of time. Uh, but we did save money, so we, we invested our time uh, when we didn't have money to kind of make things happen with the company in the beginning. If your current Kickstarter is a testament to how people have enjoyed the game, it's very obvious that people love it because they've done so well this most recent time. They've raised over $300,000 more than their goal. John was like, sorry, we're, it's been a little chaotic <laughs> with the most recent Kickstarter. I'm like, oh yeah, it happens all the time. What advice would you have for other people maybe trying to start their own tabletop game? Do do weird things. Don't don't follow the normal path. Uh, there are a lot of ways that you can make games out there uh, that, that will achieve what you want to achieve. You want to make a game that you think is a little bit odd, but you have faith in it. Try it out. I mean, you don't want to try it out until you know you have no money left. Right. <laughs> but you definitely want to try out calculated, weird things. Calculated, calculated risk. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Have you ever seen um, Kickstarter do? I just saw this in junior. I didn't know they do this to make one hundred. Yes. Have you ever done that? No, but we kind of want to. Yeah. I would encourage anybody to do that. So really to test the test the market and yeah. see if people like what yeah. you're putting out there. And test your ability to see if True. you can actually do produce it. it. Yeah, if you can do a hundred and kind of make that happen mm -hmm. uh, and and feel comfortable with it, then you might be able to do a thousand. Then you might be able to do two thousand. Uh, mm -hmm. There will always be mistakes. Um, just in the end, you just want to make sure that you're you're prepared to handle the mistakes that are inevitably coming. There's, there's going to be problems. Like we, for example, uh, three months or four months down the line after our first Kickstarter ended, had our uh, initial production company say, 
Well, the game's gonna cost four times more than we thought it was going to. So, Surprise! <laughs> yeah, to find another company immediately uh, to deliver the game. We ended up delivering late because of that, mm -hmm. but we ended up we still ended up delivering. Um, mm -hmm. So issues will happen. It's just a matter of how you react and handle.